Hey everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and this is a Project Life Process video. It's a spread from my travel album. It's an album that I had, uh, it's from 2022 and it has pictures from a trip we made and we went to the Philadelphia Zoo and we traveled to New York to go to Legoland. So this is one of the spreads that it's in the Philadelphia Zoo portion of this book and it's a really fun one. It has a few of my favorite photos. Like these leaves are so amazing. And to work on this album, I have a few different kits. I have a few, I have two that are the remix kits from Studio Calico. And that was a video I made a while ago where I took my older Studio Calico kits, I broke them apart and I made new kits. And I also have, I'm also using the documentary kit from October 2023. I was really waiting for that kit to arrive, but in, in this case, I didn't use it that much. The cards were from one of those older Studio Calico kits that came cut out already. These alphas are also pretty old. They are probably from 2022 or 2023, but I love them. I love the nail font and I love this pattern. It's very subtle. You can't see it that well but it has like a notebook pattern on it i'm using this tombo fudenosuke uh little ruler it comes with the individual tumble dual brush pens no sorry not the dual brush pens the tombo fudenosuke uh but this little ruler is for japanese calligraphy i just think that it's a way it's a great way to use it this way i still did it crooked though and I was so bummed <laughs> it's you can barely notice it it's like it's not even one millimeter but it annoys me and the little like selling point of this zoo is that there are tunnels around the zoo and you can see animals walking around you so that's like the tagline and I wanted to use it on this photo of the red panda that was climbing out it was so cool and I'm glad that it was a red panda because they're so cute, they're fluffy, they're adorable. I was afraid because I know that monkeys also have a tunnel. The monkeys are gross, okay? They throw stuff at you. And the tigers, that is the one that they always show in the promo, that's too scary, okay? That's too big and paranoid. I get intrusive thoughts. I get pic like images of Tony the Tiger punching me in the face and we can't have that. Did a little cluster in the corner, not to cover too much of the red panda. And at first I thought about using those white notebook uh, alpha stickers for the whole thing, but it kind of blended into the, the color at the bottom. So I just figured that I was going to use this yellow, which also came from a kit. I love buying these alphas. Right now, Studio Calico is getting ready to like liquidate everything, and they have a crafting. They have a code. I think it's Crafting Thirty, and this is as November first that they have this code. Uh, so if you wanna, I would like save a lot on on alpha stickers. I got my fill when a few months back they had the twenty five cent sticker sale and I bought a lot of labels and I bought a lot of alphas and at the beginning when I got them <laughs> at first I was like that was probably too much I did not need it but now that I know they're going like to stop making crafting stuff I'm like I I knew it I should trust I should have bought more <laughs> I should have trusted my instinct and those geotags are from the wonder they had a, a kit that is for travel and it was called Wonder. And I have, not only I have those Studio Calico kits, I have some fall items and items that are about traveling and stuff like that. And a little caddy that I got from Target and they're only $5. So if you see them, I think I've showed them 
before either on videos or if you want to i can do like a little short video uh, on like on my shorts showing you this caddy is only five dollars and it's so convenient and when i'm done i just put everything back where it belongs that is one thing that i am so happy with the organization of my craft room when i'm done with the project i'm like okay i know where everything needs to go back to and that's why it's so stressful to buy new items for my craft room for our anniversary my husband got me an awesome 3d printer but at first i was freaking out because where am i gonna put it <laughs> and when i switch my printer i was also i don't like to switch printers i switch because now i have an eco tank i'm gonna be able to print more the quality quality is still really good so i'm just being picky and lately and in this album i'm obsessed with these little washi dots i think i got those from i am almost sure that i got them at the paper herald which is a stationery store in baltimore if you're ever near there you should go it's so cute yeah and always make a point when you travel to like support one small business i know the big stores are very fun especially if you live in a rural area when you don't have like a good target that's awesome but also check out uh, small business and when I was done with that photo I was like maybe I should have put that tagline in that photo because that's like the red panda in the actual tunnel but it is what it is and while I was working on the page before I saw this quote it says Joy's, uh, Joy comes Oh my god, I can't see it. Comes to us. Joy comes to us in ordinary moments. Uh, okay. I can't read it because I'm very blind. Let me see if I find it in the album. Should have tried this before. Okay. It says, Joy comes to us in ordinary moments. We risk missing out when we get too busy uh chasing down the extraordinary and it's a phrase by Brene brown and I, I promise i know how to read it's just that between the i'm blind <laughs> and also it's like messy handwriting i've lost the touch uh, of being able to read every scribble which is a skill that you develop when you're a teacher but i haven't exercised in a long time so uh, but yeah, when I was working on the page before that one, I saw this quote in one of the pages and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to slip in this card. That is something that I've been trying to do also. If I know that I have a card that would work well uh, in a specific occasion, I will cut it out and slip it in the page protector. It makes my life a lot easier. And that stamp set is also from October 2023 with the super tiny leaves. And the whole stamp is really cute. And they fix the quality of the 3x4 stamps. But those tiny leaves, I don't know what is it with really small details like the leaves and the little stars. That I'm obsessed with them lately. And I love this photo because that was a beautiful fall day. Shout out to the East Coast for the beautiful, amazing falls that we have. Every day I look out of my window and on my backyard, I have such a beautiful array of trees and it blows my mind. Something very simple, something to be grateful for every day. And I wanted to add something to this starburst i think that that circle is an old studio calico um embellishment but i'm also going to be using those little washi dot stickers and i love that they have like a watercolor feel to a lot of them some of them have uh, like the blues and the purples have like little galaxies going on but then it felt like too 
I don't know, it, it wasn't flowing, so I busted out my awesome little, I think it's called Cest, Life Cest or something. I'm gonna link it below. A uh, bunch of the links below are affiliate links. You don't have to use them, but they do help a lot. And I used the big ones also. Like I haven't used that lemon once or the phrases, but these little stars have, I've been using them a lot. And I'm using this, I think it's called Taupe. It's from Stamping Up and I think it came in a kit. Let me see. Tip Top Taupe. And it's a classic stamping spot. And I love this color. I need to, I think Stamping Up, you have to order it through someone. I don't know, but I I just love this color. And if you use the Pseudocalico inks, the the pads is very similar to it so I really love it and I've had it for a few years and I ignored it and then I used it in one project and I'm like okay no you go to my special inks I use them all the time drawer and I'm using the Tombow Twin Tone and Brown to write down my journaling and that fall slash fun is from an old um, feed your craft kit and those were designed by in a creative bubble and I love in a creative bubble stuff you have no idea how much willpower it took for me <laughs> to not get uh, the last holiday like the one from 2023 and the Halloween one because it was so cute if you like printables and you have not bought from in a creative bubble you need to check her out is it the the DJs are so amazing they're so beautiful and I love the colors and I feel like it needed like a third element so again that little starbu starburst was perfect and this was a cute card I don't know why I got <laughs> I, I don't know why I decided I, I just have a compulsive need to add tiny clusters of embellishments everywhere so yeah the washi dots this washi i've been loving lately i think it fits really well with the yellow the studio calico often uses with their fall collections i also love these um tweezers for stickers they're awesome and then I think I added a tiny circle dot to that. You can see it over there. And later when I took the photos, I added a little more stamping starburst to the red panda card. This is pretty much it. It's a close up of everything. I didn't want to add anything to those photos with the leaves because they were so perfect. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.